One Piece is a celebration of freedom. On the surface, it's a classic adventure tale. Our protagonist Luffy leaves his village to go on a grand adventure to seek the treasure of his life to follow his dream to become the king of the pirates. The story takes place in an authoritarian world with two primary forces, the world government and pirates. Thus, most people in the world of One Piece have two lots in life. They can join the tyranny of either the pirates or the world government through the marines, or they can seek to be a subservient citizen who is subject to the whims of these forces. Luffy, however, proves to be different. He rejects joining these tyrannical forces, but he also rejects being a subservient citizen. Instead, Luffy chooses freedom, and he finds freedom by following his dreams. And thus, through Luffy, we get a sort of formula of how to be free in a world that is overrun by tyranny. And this is what we'll seek to understand in this video, the philosophy of One Piece and how to be free in a tyrannical world. And for reference, this video is going to be referring to the live action version of One Piece rather than the anime version. So let's jump in. As we've already stated, Luffy is a young man who is on an adventure to become the king of the pirates. He's fun-loving, goofy, and sincere. But what's most distinct about him is his belief in himself. This is a man who has the courage and the audacity to simply walk confidently in the direction of his dreams and just naturally expect everything to work out. For instance, wherever he goes, he always proclaims that he is both a pirate and going to become the king of the pirates, and everyone always laughs at him, saying, you're not even a pirate. And this never phases him. He simply just stands true in his belief. No, I am a pirate, and I am going to become the king. He's also not at all afraid of rejection from others when he seeks to recruit for his crew, and he has no shame in the humility of his beginnings. Thus, even though he starts alone as an underdog with no resources and is consistently mocked, scorned, and laughed at, he simply overcomes this just by doing this. And by following his dreams, Luffy isn't just someone who finds a sense of freedom, but he also becomes a protector of freedom, namely protecting the freedom for others. For instance, he's the one who frees Kobe from the clutches of Alvida when she imprisoned them on her ship. And he's also the one to stand up for the villagers when they're attacked by the likes of pirates such as Buggy or Captain Arlong. And he's also someone who frees his own members of his crew as well. When he asks them to join his crew, he's not just promising them an adventure, but he also gives them and enables them opportunities to follow their own dreams. Whether that's Zoro seeking to become the best swordsman in the world, or Nami seeking to draw a map of the entire world, or even encouraging Kobe to go ahead and become a Marine, even if that means that he'll be set up against Luffy. And thus, by the end of Season 1, we see that Luffy has essentially succeeded at becoming a pirate. He finds a real ship and has a real crew who has supported him and following his dreams. And now with that sort of plot summary out of the way, let's go ahead and discuss freedom within the context of One Piece. And first, let's address what freedom is not. Again, the world of One Piece is largely authoritarian. The common choices for mankind is to either be powerful or be oppressed. You can be a decent, humble villager or citizen, but likely to be oppressed by either the marines, the world government, or pirates. Or you can seek to become a marine or a pirate and try to obtain power. But what we quickly realize within One Piece is that power alone will not free you. In fact, it does the opposite. It imprisons you. If you become a pirate, you're most likely to be subservient to a tyrannical captain, such as Buggy or Arlong. And even if you somehow rise to the ranks to becoming a captain, there's always going to be a bigger fish out there who is trying to kill you. And you're essentially living a life in fear. The pirate Kuro sums it up best when he laments that the life of a pirate is a life of paranoia consistently battling the marines, other pirates, and bounty hunters, paranoid that you might be betrayed by your own crew, and consistently living in a friendless reality of isolation. So yes, even the tyrannical pirates and the strongest of the strong are not free. And the same can be said about becoming a marine. Even the most powerful leaders of the marines are still subject to their superiors and the world government at large. You're just another cog in the machine. And thus, the reality is, power will not free. So how does Luffy find freedom? Yes, it's true that Luffy finds freedom by following his dreams, but we have to be clear that it's not because he's selfish or choosing just to follow his passions. Luffy's freedom comes from his moments of constraint. Luffy is free because he constrains himself to be a servant to his fellow man. Namely, Luffy loves freedom so much that he believes that everyone should be free, and he's willing to die to protect the freedom of others. And thus, while Luffy is indeed fun-loving, goofy, and free-spirited, he becomes very protective and aggressive whenever he sees the freedom of his friends, loved ones, or those he cares about threatened. And we see these moments of seriousness come up all over the place, like when Buggy threatens to kill an innocent villager boy, or even more prominently when Luffy seeks to free Nami from the evil Captain Arlong, even though she betrayed him. Thus, Luffy's freedom comes both from following his dreams, but also being 
constrained by his morality. He's not imprisoned by his power, unlike the captains and the marines, because he uses his power to be subservient to the good of others. It's a simple case of you reap what you sow. The antagonists in the show live lives of tyranny, and they become tyrannized to their own power and their self-created prisons they make. Luffy spends most of his life seeking freedom for himself and protecting the freedom in others, and as such, he largely lives free. And thus we realize that the philosophy of One Piece is indeed a philosophy of freedom. And the philosophy of freedom is found by embracing the adventure of your life, following your dreams, cultivating your skills, and then using your skills and your character to become a servant of the good in others. In short, be bold, follow your dreams, and be a good person like Luffy. And then you'll be as free as Luffy. And then, regardless of how your life ultimately turns out, you can at least rest assured that you lived on the side of freedom rather than tyranny. Thanks for watching, my friend, and take care.